Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you the DAX shortcut for increasing the productivity. So whenever you are writing the uh, any of the DAX expression or anything uh, you basically may want to sometimes you know select a line or move up and down or you know even create a line. So some of these things you know which which you find uh, uh, you know using your mouse or uh, using your keyboard like enter and all you basically try to achieve that with the help of shortcut you can increase the productivity and it will also give you an upper hand uh, in terms of writing the complex when you are writing the complex uh, dex code so with that uh, keeping that in mind uh, i want to show you some my five shortcuts which i find it really useful whenever I am working with tax, so that's something I want to tell you. So along with that, uh, just before I show you quick information that uh, this live Google Sheet, the link of this live Google Sheet is present in the description. That means you can come here, access all of my previously 180 videos where I have created. As you can see, I have highlighted the dashboard with a separate color. So you can access those dashboards, all the DAX and visualization over here and uh, and uh, you know learn if you are if you are in a mode of learning the power bi also if you are looking for a specific solution you can even search it over here so this since this will be a live sheet it will always be updated with my most uh, up to date tutorials whenever i am uploading it so make sure you have it as a bookmark and use it whenever you need it all right with that, uh, let me go to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI. And uh, so for the DAX showing the shortcuts, what I will just expand this a little bit. And uh, we will choose, uh, maybe I'll just take one formula. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, so we may have created this. Uh, so the formula's name says max sales max per subcategory, right? So by each subcategory we have identified the maximum sales okay but what if let's say you are developing a code or let's say over here you need to select an entire line so generally if you need to select an entire line you will do it like this you will keep your mouse using uh, using your mouse and left click you will going to select or select over here right one of the quickest ways but what if you have a shortcut right with with your up and down arrow arrow you can move up and down that's no brainer right but if you are on this line and if you press control i you will select the entire line and that is something i wanted to tell you that you don't have to really use your mouse but with control i you can simply do this press control c control v or control x like a normal copy copy paste or cut paste sort of a thing if you need to do that but the idea is I want to show you control I or command I if you are in um, uh, Mac, but generally desktop is not available in Mac, but if you are on that uh, web interface of Power BI, so that may work over there. But in case of a Power BI desktop, since it is specific to Power BI desktop, which is available on the Windows, so control I is going to be the shortcut for uh, doing this operation when you need to select the row. So that is the first shortcut I wanted to tell you. Now, uh, if you need to duplicate a line, let's say this line or this line, if you need to duplicate it. So the way you can duplicate is by pressing, uh, you know, your shift, alt and down arrow. Or you can press shift, alt, up arrow as well. Uh, down or up arrow depends on whatever uh, arrow you want to choose, but you can duplicate it. It's useful in those scenarios, like for example, uh, where you need to repeat some sort of a, let's say, if condition if you are writing, right? So similar type of condition, but only you need to change the value or any other control um, operation like a switch case, right? In case of that, you, you may need to duplicate it multiple times. So whenever the scenario is there where uh, you don't want to write the entire code, but duplicate it and just change the value, you can use this. So shift, alt, and up or down arrow, whatever you want, you can choose that. That's your second shortcut or the second shortcut which I like. Now, uh, another shortcut which I want to show you is quite useful 
is uh, is basically inserting a line above and below so generally what we do is we come here we press we try to press enter to create a line but it does not create a line right so the way you will going to create a line is by um, if you want to there are two ways you want to create a line above or you want to create a line below so if you want to create a line below you will going to press shift enter and it will create a line right but let's say you are here or let's say i'm here at my original position and i want to create a line above in that case i will going to press control shift and enter so this will going to create a line above to your uh, current line so wherever you are so uh, two shortcuts if you want to create a line below shift enter and if you want to create a line above that is your control shift enter right so final shortcut or final um, you know uh, shortcut for the dax again very very useful if you have multiple lines like so far seven lines but you have like 6 7 8 9 10 i mean 15 lines if if a code is that much long and you want to move let's say from line number 10 to line number 2 so obviously you can use your mouse but pressing the control g you can move up like you can press 2 go to line number 2 press enter go there similarly control g 7 you move to here so this is basically increase the movement so think about this you don't have to really touch the mouse you are in your mode of writing a dax you are writing a big dax formula and all of these formulas become really handy whenever or all of these shortcuts basically it becomes really handy when you need to um, create your code quickly or you are in that zone and you don't want to touch the mouse generally you know this is something what i have observed whenever uh, a complex calculation is going on and you know shortcut becomes shortcuts really increase your productivity so that's mainly i wanted to show you uh, five shortcuts in this uh, video and uh, i'll meet you now in the next video with a new topic